Thanks for joining this call. My name is Jack and say hi if you are the first time on this training. This is kind of a different training than you might used to. Uh, nothing to sell. Uh, trying to help you learning my products and also with your challenge you might have. Okay, so my commitment is that I will try my best to, to help you to succeed. Does that mean I will do the work for you? That is a hard question. So the short answer is no. The long answer is my tools will do a lot of work what you had to do otherwise manually, for example. So I kind of do I kind of have automated the work for you, okay? So, we have some new members today. James, hi James, see it. Uh, Danny, Danny, you are not new. Paul, Jesse, so, um, welcome. Always good to see new members. I love that. Um, so today will be in q and A. I I will show you some uh, <coughs> some uh, new updates. Um, I love you guys interaction. Uh, it, does, it does make my job much easier and how, how better question I get, you know, how more you get out of me. That's kind of simple it is. So let me answer some questions first. Uh, you guys are posting them. I appreciate that very much. So Jesse asks, with sending emails with Lead Finder Jack through your servers and or through the Amazon server, do we have the risk that e email address we are sending from or a particular domain getting blacklisted as spam? Um, I don't think the domain will get bl blacklisted as spam. Um, if you, so the save it is that you use not your main domain email address. Let's say your business name is Anne, and and you have a domain name Anne.com. So if your main email address is Jesse at honor.com I, I might not use that I might use that as uh, jazz at honor.com if something happened with jazz at honor.com you can uh, nothing is wrong you can just forward to jazz at honor.com so is it actually a very good question Jesse I think you understand the game around emailing uh, It's all been challenged when you send an email and they are have not subscribed. So, Kathleen asks, "What is your opinion about offering AdWords to start and as establish and as you establish the client, offer them SEO so they do not have?" to keep paying for AdWords. My thinking is I will be getting the client to trust me by looking out for their bottom line and the long-term financial health of their business. What do you think? Okay. So, in as marketer, uh, you kind of want to earn some income, some, some money per hour, correct? With AdWords, you earn much easier a certain amount of money per hour than SEO. For SEO, you really have to work hard and smart and all kind of things. So I don't see the interest for you to do a lot of SEO work except 
for Google My Business. So I see the package AdWords and Google My Business. Okay, I kind of see them hand in hand. The uh, Google My Business is very important, and you can also link it to your AdWords website. So kind of you can s still own a lot of the real estate, and you can charge separately for that. But I don't kind of do that. Uh, Google My Business is not is in the beginning some work, but not uh, over time. And as soon as the clients see results, they're not going to leave easily. So, uh, um, so I would I would offer AdWords by Google My Business, uh, but not doing the SEO. That is what I would do because SEO uh, takes a lot of time from you, and with those companies. Um, with our overseas, it's hard to compete with them to make a big in, to make a good uh, amount of money. Does that make sense? So that is my opinion. Jesse said, I'm trying to figure out what we can safely send for emails using your system. How many emails can we send safely each day? Uh, so safely, I think your question is related. I don't want to send more emails that I get banned by Amazon. That is your direct question, correct? And Although we do all kind of things to uh, minimize that risk, it can always happen. And I don't know how your in how much your in-depth knowledge about emailing, but there are some emails uh, around uh, on the internet, and those are tricky emails. And if you, you if if you send those tricky emails, they're going to catch that, as you know those emails are not subscribed. So that is one. And the second one is if you get a lot of complaints. So if you send hundred emails and you get five complaints, then Amazon doesn't get to like that. So you kind of want to shape the email that uh, the risk of complaint is uh, not that high. So it's a fine balance. Emailing is an art, is a really an art. It's, it's, it's really, and although email is still work, it's, uh, so although email is still work, you know, you, you get, uh, you, your guys read also my emails, correct? So emails still work. Okay, now another good question. Wow, you guys have good questions today. Brenda asks, can you explain the difference between Google AdWords and Google AdWords Express. I tried Google AdWords Express and the client has got zero calls. So, how do you say that? Google AdWords Express is a very basic uh, version to show an ad on Google on the first page. But Google AdWords Express doesn't have negative keywords, for example. They have very little fine-tuning and optimization. They made it by purpose so a an, an business owner can uh, use also Google AdWords. And they, they make the interface Google AdWords Express. As local marketer, you should shame yourself 
not taking the time to learn Google AdWords. Okay? You should it should be not a challenge for you to learn Google AdWords. I think if you offer Google AdWords Express, then you do your client too short. Okay. Hope that answers your question. So learn Google AdWords. Raymond said you need to offer a solution to their problems and not sell on the first email. Get them to trust you and offer value with your emails. Yeah. It's not always easy, Raymond. Um, so with video prospect jack you can automatically create an image of their website now if you link it to a website which has really good information what they find useful they a will not report you for spam and the second one they might want to use your service okay So, Pat uh, want to see some numbers. Would you say emailing is the sole prospecting option for someone who works 10 hours a day, have 2 hours a day to prospect on average, the only free day I have is Sunday? Um, so, um, how do you answer that, Pat? So, the emailing is kind of easy, correct? You can have your computer work while you sleep or whatever you do. Okay, so that is a nice system. Not all prospect. Uh, appreciate emails and you will convert with email so you those prospects might need to get contacted on a different way so an option is for example that you have someone instead of you do the prospecting calling okay or you hook up with somebody in the Facebook group and that person likes to do prospecting and you like more to do the fulfillment so if you work 10 hours a day you kind of have to start thinking on managing it okay how can I manage my other business okay and you kind of want to have an ROI in your mind if I invest $100 I at least, you know, if I outsource it, I need to at least make $100 from it. But at the moment you see a positive ROI, you can scale it. Plus, take in mind, when you start as marketer, you need clients in the beginning, you know, 50 clients. But once you reach 50 clients, you... Uh, you kind of don't need to prospect so hard anymore. Okay. So, can you explain how we make a copy of their website and show them in a new version? So, if you have a training question, or another main question, you go to jackhopman.com and then there's a training and there's a training, you have a question about lead finder jack and then there's a, a, a module about video prospector. Okay, and this module explains how the video prospector and the image works. Okay. Uh, 
Um, Wait, said, what is the best service to use after Amazon Ban? So just a standard lead finder jack service, mail server I mean. So if you go to emails, mail server, standard mail server within lead finder jack. See that SMTP lead finder jack? Did I skip uh, questions? Can you repost them? If a company doesn't have a website but has email, which format should I use to the email sequence? AdWords or Home Advisor? Which one should I use? If a company doesn't have a website but has an email, which format should I use in the email sequence? AdWords or Home Advisor? It's up to you. So customize it to your customize it to your like. One second. Okay, sorry for that. Um, so it also depends if you say you know I find a company who has no website and I want to offer AdWords service then you use the AdWords uh, email template so tailored to your service Patrick said, can a small insurance broker compete with the large insurance companies in AdWords locally? So AdWords is an ROI thing. Showing your ad costs money. Not showing, clicking on the ad costs money. And the website needs to convert. Okay? If it all depends how good you are or somebody is to make that ROI working, correct? If you are a smart AdWords guy plus your website converts well, plus um, you offer a service, you're able to offer service what clients are willing to pay for, plus you earn a decent amount of money with it, you see how, how much uh, that you can make a positive ROI with it and maybe you can even, even make a, a, a more positive ROI than uh, a bigger insurance company. So I know a bigger co insurance company they, they can afford maybe more manpower uh, to optimize things, to, to hire a better AdWords manager, to optimize the website. Maybe they can b uh, buy in more insurance policies and they can offer it at a better rate. So those are the scale factors. But in principle, if a small company, you probably answer that phone much better than a big company who have employees where, you know, they are not so interested that the company makes money. So I think you feel the balance is it's about the ROI. So what is your opinion on getting AdWords certified? Up to now, none of my clients has asked me for it. So that is my opinion. I don't. I think it is a good thing, but it did not. I would be. I would have been be certified if it was a really big need in my company. Okay, but I know more than 
Google AdWords uh, support. So I, n I never had a client say, hey, Jack, are you, are you certified? But I, and it's not a bad thing, so I don't want to put it as a bad thing. So, Arvind said, short or long term keywords, which one is the most effective? Okay, most effective are local intent keywords. So, forget about short or long, local in, uh, intent. I had... Uh, then he said, I have been optimizing my site for pay-per-click, Jack. I'm now number one for bold keywords, PPC Cleveland and pay-per-click. Very good, Danny. I think your client is very uh, happy with you. Sam asks, Jack, if he sent email with ad, how much we have chance to get some clients to start um, yeah that is hard to uh, hard to uh, give an exact percentage to it so it depends on the niche on the competition uh, what your offer is how you follow up so it's, I think the question should me, should kind of, Jack, if I'm 100% dedicated to get a client, how, what is my chance to get a client? Okay, any other questions? So, very good question, Knight. Now I have one for you. Are you guys ready to answer? So, uh, let me ask you a question now. Kind of. And let me explain the different modules and then I uh, want you I want you to ask I want you to ask what is your favorite module does that make sense everybody kind of in tune with it I'm going to explain every module and you're going to let me know which module you like the best which service does that make sense Everybody in, in agreement with that? So, module number one is the AdWords Prospector. It, you can search on business who are advertising on Google. It collects also the ads and the ad, ad tracking and it will try to find the email on the website. Okay? So, that's module number one. Model number two is Video Prospector. Uh, it creates an image of the prospecting website and it looks like a video player. And you can link it to a website, your prospecting website. Okay, does that make sense? Everybody understand what Model 2 is? So, model number three is kind of same as the video prospector, but on top of that video image, it puts a stamp on it, a security stamp, and say, hey, I was able to detect that your website is made with WordPress, and your website is at risk. Everybody understand? Model number three. Model number four is mail prospector. Now you have somewhere a lot of emails and you want to use them within Lead Finder Jack. You want to be able to upload them so you can upload your own email list. 
Okay? Then model number five is the unclaimed Google My Business listing. So it's able to search within Google which businesses do not have claimed their listing. And as you know, if you haven't claimed your list listing, Google is not in, uh, in tune to list that listing on the first page. Everyone understand? what unclaimed Google My Business listing is. The Video Prospector Elite is now Lead Finder Jack can also filter and search if the website contains a video. So if you want to offer video service you can say hey I know that you have a nice website but you don't have a video. And with video, you people are more willing to stay in your website and improve SEO and video and website visitor rather watch a video than text. Okay, that is video prospect delete. Everybody get that? <coughs> the mobile prospector. Do you know that mobile is really the way to go and every website needs to be mobile responsive or have a mobile version? So the mobile prospector can collect or does collect how Google looks to a website and really tells you if that website is mobile okay or not. Does that make sense? So. The last, or model number eight is Maps Error Search, okay? For able to rank high in Google My Business, Google Places, the information on the listing needs to be the same as on the website. If there is a mismatch, something is off, and that is the Maps Error Search. Model number nine, Home Advisor. If you live in the United States, you probably know Home Advisor. Many businesses pay Home Advisor big bucks to, to for their leads. So those clients know and they are already used to pay for leads. So if you are in the lead gen or you want to offer a website or so, those are golden clients. Okay? So, and the world search is you cannot only search in one niche, in city, you can search all niches in a city and in a state. So you have a lot of search opportunity um, how you collect the leads. So, please be active now, okay? Please be active. I explained module number 1 to 10. What is your favorite module? And you only, only can select one. What is your favorite module? Okay. What is your favorite model? Okay, I need some more answers. No, that, go please. You have still have time. What is your favorite model? Okay, uh, please enter them if you haven't done yet. I'm going to mention them. One second. Um, Clay said. Number one, so that is AdWords. Uh, one second. Nick said one is also AdWords. And Raymond said I have two, number one and five, so AdWords and the unclaimed. Uh, Waden said AdWords, AdWords, AdWords. So he's really an AdWords uh, fan, prospector. Uh, add, set number two, video prospector. 
uh, James, number four, the male prospector. Uh, Pat, the module number eight, maps AeroSearch. Arlene, number five, the unclaimed. Frank, number one, the Atlas prospector. Uh, one second, I got lost. William, number all of the local search. Uh, see, it is model number six related to number five. Uh, now, those are different. Uh, Ibrahim said the Atlas prospector. Jamie said the unclaimed listing. Livy said the module number one is the Atwoods. Gene said the video prospector. Wade said Atwoods more long time potential good. Patrick number one that is the Atwoods prospector. Ray said number five the model number five that is the unclaimed. Uh, Lloyd said number one is the Atwoods. Kathleen said number one is the Atwoods. And Larry also said I like the video prospector. Uh, John said the maps arrow. Uh, so you guys get the overview. There are so many people and so many opinions and so many preferences. You guys get it? Kind of AdWords, a video prospector, wins than the unclaimed. I might uh, do a uh, Facebook uh, vote so I get more specific numbers. Okay. Now, why did I do this? You would ask. Why did I do this? We get several times the question, hey Jack, hey Karen, what is your favorite model? Where should I start? Do you recognize with that question? So now you have heard what other people using, correct? It does not matter so much. The most what matters is that you take action. That is the 80% of your success. Do you get that? Offer the service you like to do, like to provide. Some servers have recurring elements, okay? So I would only offer a service which has a recurring element. That is me. Okay, so that, that, would, impo that would be important to me. Okay, I don't care so much about initial payment but I like to get paid month after month after month. Okay? Does that clarify a little bit? I will probably set up a Facebook post so you guys, guys can see a little more specific data. Lloyd said, can I use my Amazon email account for other than lead finder Jack? Yes, you get the SMTP info and if you have an other tool and they can accept the SMTP info, you, you can use also for something else. So, Pico asked, can you explain the difference between PPC click and PPC call? Okay, so within AdWords, there are different accounts, campaign settings, campaign settings. Google has an option that it does not show a website link. It shows a button 
and the searcher actually the mobile searcher can click on a button dynamically a phone number get uh, fetch fetch in the website visitor phone and at that point the website visitor on the mobile search can decide I want to call that number. So PPC call is kind of you offer all only that they can call. Okay? PPC click is kind of you show a link to an ad and they go to the website and then you convert them via the website. Does that make sense? Cost of factor is the same money. Um, when you do AdWords, you have to start thinking on ROI. Okay? So, in principle, it's all about how much money you spend and how much money you get out of it. And what is in between is that black box. That can be the PPC call campaign, but can also be the via the PPC click campaign, okay? So you have to test it. So don't get stuck about how much a click cost. Always think in ROI. So Sam said, Jack, can you can you talk a little bit more about AdWords sale price and strategy? How are we going to convince first client for AdWords? Um, in the AdWords training, I do several uh, prospecting calls. It it really comes down to four simple questions, and you have to keep in mind that the business owner thinks in ROI. If you are coming from SEO, you kind of think on listing, first page home listing. Okay? Those th that is not a discussion what you have with an AdWords client. They think, hey, what do I get back if I invest $1,000? Okay, what is what is the ROI of that? Okay, so you guys are very good tonight. Um, I wanted to cover two more things. Um, I'm working on this website. Did I show you that before? It's not ready. Actually, the last couple of days I haven't worked on it, but I wanted to show you a couple of things, and I'm going to digest this website. The first thing I kind of want you have to understand why this website is so good for SEO. So the question is what are important elements for SEO? Williams said keywords. Arlen said keywords. Jack said the answer. 
Arlene said title tags. Danny said say that again. Okay. What are important factors for ranking high for SEO, on-site SEO? What are important factors for on-site SEO? Yes, he said schema, keywords, on-site optimization, off-site SEO. Danny said content, Pat said keywords, Delina said AdWords, say that people react to the website. Okay, so I get a couple of good answers. Now, who of you guys are using Google instead of Yahoo as search engine? Why are you using Google as search? Why? Why are you using Google instead of Yahoo as search engine? Why is that? Okay, now we're getting close. Now we're getting close. So you get better results, correct? More relevant. You get a better answer to the keyword. Is that correct? So Google, Google tries very hard to show the best results to your search keyword, correct? So how is Google to measure that? There's actually two simple, two simple parameters. SEO is so much simple. It's really simple. I know we have some SEO experts in it and they all have it wrong because they listen to gurus. They don't they haven't learned to dance with Google. So there are two different two important factors. The first important factor is the bounce rate. If somebody lands on a website and they click away, what is Google thinking? that result did not answer the website visitor need. So that keyword, what he used to click on that website, doesn't match. So the next time Google is, hey, 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 I'm not ranking you so high anymore because I want to provide value. Does that make sense? So you want to make sure if they land on your website, they're going to click on links and then the bounce rate is good. Do you understand this? Everybody has explained what SEO, what good on-site SEO is. Yes, they do, but they want to sell a product, okay? But they, it's much simpler than that. Now, what is the second parameter Google is going to track if your website answer the website visitor need. The time on the website, you got it, correct? So as website creator, what can you do to have a good bounce rate? What can you do? You put links and call to action everywhere. You see that? Link, 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 link here. Link, 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 link. So the bounce rate will be very, uh, very good. Then the headlines are in line with the website visitor intent. Actually, if you do AdWords, you can use the AdWords ad content to create your headlines. Then everything is in line. So the website visitor feel, hey, I'm getting the results, what I was looking for, and I want to learn more about it. 
You guys get it? How simple it is? Is my screen not showing good? Okay. Do you guys see it? How simple uh, SEO is? Now the second element is you want to increase the time that they stay in the website. So what you do is you post videos on your website. You get it? So next time when you want to improve the on-site SEO, you going to work on mainly two things. That the bounce rate is good and that they stay on the website. Okay. Okay, does that does that make sense? So once this website is ready, once the website is ready, I'm going to digest it with you, okay? This website is not ready, okay? There are some elements we are uh, creating for it. So once it is ready and once I have time to finish it up, I will digest this website for you. So there are some sp some special things in it I, I, and I, I'm going to explain it to you and, and then once you understand it, it's so much easier to remember things that once you understand it than you just say, hey, okay, Jack told me, but I don't know why. It's so much easier to remember those things. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to I'm going to make you understandable why things I why I do certain things. Okay. Now another thing. Let's see uh, what I was planning to do. Oh yeah, in the membership side, you see now dynamite. You see all those training videos. Also now nice listed. So we, if you go in the training, there it's better organized, better training is. That's also on on lead on JackHobble.com training. Okay, but I got on a regular basis the question from Jack, where is, are all those training? But as dynamite, you get also those vid videos as bonuses. You see that? Now they are also grouped together. So as a dynamite member, it's easy for you to find those links for the videos. Okay. So we worked on that. Actually, uh, Karen did. How much dynamite is $27 sign up, trial, and then $59 per month, I think. Let's see, here's the link. Dynamite is just if you are serious. Uh, at least you want to be a Dynamite member. Everybody needs more clients, so that's the tool to use. Is Dynamite the best package you have? No, AdWords is. AdWords is my best package. Now, uh, Lead Finder Jack is part from Dynamite. Okay.
Lead finder AdWords is only par, uh, lead finder AdWords. So AdWords is only module within Sales Dynamite Jack. Can you show on Lead Finder how to get all info on the local search client what we have missing? Okay, so just go to training and Lead Finder Jack. Use this link and every module is explained okay so it's very easy all this training is very well organized okay so there are different versions of Lead Finder Jack, and if you want the full blow away version, you want Sales Dynamite Jack. That has all the features within Lead Finder Jack. Okay, so we kind of are an hour on the way. Um, I feel good what, about this training. You ask a lot of questions. Um, you have learned what's important on on-site SEO. Um, you have seen again one more time what the different modules are and I like you to see, I like you to have a nice day and nice night and um, um, you uh, try to get a client. Prospecting is, is important and like to see you next week uh, for another training. So thank you everybody for your attention and remember you only have to now remember jackhopman.com to get what you need. Thank you so much.